So this episode is going to be a little bit different as... Well, instead of progressing the story, now that we've completed all the levels, I think it will be a good idea to go back and play through some of the levels that I like and would like to see them again, but with a different weapon, and see how that changes up things. Uh, <laughs> of course, there will be um, time codes in the description, so you can pick and choose which ones you want. Um, <laughs> Of course, as we've seen them before, I'm not going to show the entire thing. I'm going to have the highlights of the best parts for each. Um, sometimes it's not going to be the case, I'm just going to have the entire thing. I do blab a bit in the later, later on. Um, also, not every level I did I'm going to show, as some of them weren't all that interesting. Um, if I do ever get around to going back and completing this, I think I will go back and redo those levels with those weapons, um, just so you can see what, <laughs> you know, what you might have missed. Um, but yeah, um, if you feel like skipping this, that's totally fine. Uh, next episode we will continue on, but yeah. Onwards to a level recap, I guess. Less of doing that. Um, 107. Okay. Why, why did I say Blaster? What's wrong with me? Okay. Ooh, okay, yeah, now I definitely get why I, I included Blaster. Um, on top of being a little bit more harder, considering the weapon's weaknesses, um, you just have less. Well, you don't have a bomb, which might be an issue. Um. Although I, I kind of get the feeling that there probably won't be so much of a challenge in this. It's more so I just wanted to do a level with a brush. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Probably should have, more like. Okay, right. Yep, jump. Yeah, um, right, and I can also um, jump to, or jump up to them. See, I'm just trying to remember if there is a, um, brush, depending on the game, that has a, um, thingy thing. Okay, what am I doing? I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Yep, right, you're there. Okay, cool. Um... Oh, I forgot about this part. Okay, uh... Yeah, that... Well, this part with the blast, I might be, like, a little rough. Although... Pff, this with the brush might also be a little... Bleh. In terms of um, conserving ink, since uh, uh, gonna be honest, even when I like, I kind of adapted my um, Octo brush set to um, <laughs> including recovery, not so much um, ink saver main. Mmm. Um... Okay, yep, yep, shit. Uh, did a, like, Octobrush have burst bombs at all? Cause, like, gotta be honest, uh, that would kinda be ideal. <laughs> 
Hmm. No, that being said, um, suction and auto are kind of fine. Oh wait, no, we don't want to go up. We want to flappy bird the shit. Way yeah. I was totally under the impression that I failed that. Okay. Um yeah, I'm not gonna do this with a blaster like that. So is this one kinda of falls into the territory? Again, of it had an octobrush. I mean, the octobrush. I want to use the octobrush on a level. <laughs> Can you blame me? Um, although, that being said, um, this one is particularly, or might be a particular challenging. Only because of the whole range issue. Although, the, again, um, bomb. Bomb might actually do pretty well for us. Possibly. Um, okay, I had assumed that I was going to be able to get the checkpoint. Evidently not. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I uh, don't remember specifically which phase it is, but we do get a stinger. And that definitely helps out a little bit. Uh, how much time do we have here? With that, although that being said, we do have a little bit of the top of that cleared. So, probably won't be as heavy with the thoughts on the thing specifically, but... <laughs> the fact that, um... Two of the four bosses kind of became a special test. Uh, I, I don't really know what to think about that. Um, for Octo Samurai, yeah, that made some sense as, like, no matter the weapon. Um, okay, I need this. Uh... Does that mean I won't be able to start this phase with the stinger? If so, then shit. Uh, yeah, uh... <laughs> um, yeah, uh, no matter what weapon you have, uh... Octa Samurai is kind of a pushover. Uh, I guess. Um, but, um, Octa Shower Mind, um, I, I feel like it was possible to, like, kind of do, um, sort of like a mixed thing where the, you have the, uh, Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you, you, why we did have the inkjet, um, you didn't have its attack, and its main, the main weapon you chose for that would definitely help some. Okay. Um, well, uh, 
I guess with the benefit of hindsight and a bit of fucking up, um, I did a little bit better, I think? So I'd just like to note, or mention that in my notes for this particular weapon and level, um... In brackets, it says in all capitals and with three question marks, might be impossible. So, uh, yeah? Um, so was this one where we had... Okay, yeah, one we had one life. Okay, um... So, when I wrote that, I was more accustomed to, um... This weapon, since I was maining it at the time, or considering maining at the time? Uh... Now, not so much, so this might be a little bit rougher, considering that... I'm a little bit unpracticed with this weapon than I was when I suggested it to myself. Oh, okay. Um, I don't have to. I can. I can be a little bit picky, but like. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, actually, yeah, if you don't mind the audio taking a bit of a quality dip, I might just do this, because, like, so I might need to, like, focus a little bit, because, like, uh, not impossible from what I thought, at least, although I do have to, like, uh, having, like, total for a range of my hand movement would be nice. Okay, get that over there. It's amazing that the smaller ones pop in one hit, so I don't really have to focus about holding it. Looks like... I guess in my mind I kind of envision that, um... The fact that you like, kind of had to hold this would kind of get in the way. Shit, like that. So yeah, maybe this isn't as bad as what I thought initially. Although, that being said, um, I do kind of still hold the thingy things. So needs to be wary about the balloons getting in the way, if anything. Ah, balloon. So did you kind of mention, oh, notice a little bit too late that the platform is definitely an issue, since it is, like, fucking me over somewhat. Okay, um... Ooh, okay, that was risky and I didn't exactly know if I was a... Okay, where, where, how... Oh, I can't hit those. I, right, how the fuck? Those pillars there, uh... What is actually stopping me from climbing onto them? Okay, uh... Actually, it looks like if I'm higher up enough, I can... Get that? <gasps> Let's go back this way... Please... Oh, right, that one, that one, that one, that... Mm. Oh, that is kind of evil, but I see what we have to... Oh! 
How close was that? Okay, uh, we are back at stasis. Uh, we are retaking our stasis test because we failed the last time we were here. The oh, yeah, right, I don't have the thing. Okay. Um. I, I know why this is somewhat of a better uh, stasis test than uh, the, the actual stasis thing was. It's uh, kind of more so that um, in the shrine you pick up stasis, you would be new to it as a concept, so they couldn't exactly drill you on that. Shit, 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 shit. Meh, boy. Love right. Timing is a thing. Here is, I guess, the part where, um... The part where... Having a little bit of extra range might help? Somewhat? Maybe? Eh? Also being able to kill things in like one shot, maybe? That too. Although, uh, combat wise these aren't the worst. In fact they are actually pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, it's more so the fact that um, having to own, or having only these can be a little bit stressful, perhaps? You know what? Um, it might just be better if we run for it. <laughs> I realized that a little bit too late there. Uh, it's mostly just speed. <laughs> you bitch. Okay, maybe it's maybe dealing with the enemies there is. Probably a good thing. I have an idea in my head, although I'm not sure if it could work so much here. That being, um, what if we cling to one of these and we just let it take us up there? You... Uh, I hit you. Yeah, even though, uh... You, yeah, you know what? I kind of want to experiment. After all, CQ did give us some money for completing like most of the tests. Not all of them, mind. Okay, yeah, uh... So definitely something I should mention now is because um, of the way I am... or have the setup. Um... I'm hearing the game audio a bit behind. So I don't exactly have proper time. Oh, a grasp on the timing. Okay. It it works. Nice. I I uh Yeah, I will touch on this a little bit. Um So, something Nintendo is both good and bad at, depending on the game, franchise, and, uh... Sometimes even the specific game and what puzzles it has is that, um... For the most part, if they kind of go down the route of, um... Yes, we did intend this, or oh, a puzzle to have a... 
a specific solution, but if you find a, oh yeah, if you find your own solution that happens to also work, chances are, depending on, I guess, generally the error the game came out with, or on, um, your own solution was totally viable, even if it did kind of, uh... <laughs> make use of some mechanics in ways that they weren't intending mind but yeah uh, totally possible um in my own preference I love puzzles and situations like that where yes they designed it around a specific solution but if you're crafty you could find your own way through the puzzle and again unfortunately Tendo, oh, Nintendo has been a little bit up like all over the place with that um, again like I mentioned even in the same games you can find puzzles like that and you can also find puzzles where there's only one correct solution which sucks Okay, uh, yeah, uh, back here again. Again so soon. Uh, but yeah, um, kind of get the feeling that this content might be a little bit overshadowed by the fact that I kind of want to mention an example of the thing I mentioned earlier. Um, that being specifically Pikmin 1. And I guess parts of Pikmin 3. Um, since Pikmin 3 is a sort of a weird mix. Um, okay. uh, let's get this out of the way and down over here. Yeah. Oh, so. Hopefully we can bring multiple balls into this. Well, the Stanley balls. <laughs> Take that as you will. Uh, yeah. Um, the one thing I did want to mention specifically are puzzles around the um, distant spring area because uh, quite a few of them. In fact, I think all of them. Uh, most of them, I think. Uh, built that way with yeah, there is a specific solution that they wanted you to do, but Some of them you could get cross or crafty with although <laughs> That being said I feel like that craftiness was uh, an unintended side effect of the fact that you were given slightly longer range in the Wii version and they weren't really built for that. Or <laughs> well, the areas weren't exactly built for that. Like, um... One thing that I specifically want, want to mention that I'm not entirely sure is... A situation like I am suggesting it is. Or a, um... Uh, thingy thing. Also, yep, this was easy. Um, again, if you don't mind, I'll ramble on a little bit. Although... That being said, I do only have one level left to go through, so. And plus, that being said, it's not really the most interesting thing, considering what it is. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll find where it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, before I, I get back to the topic at hand, um, kind of the thing where I did or kind of want to leave um, Rainmaker levels out of this because uh, for the most part we won't be actually or we won't won't be using our weapon so much we'll be using the Rainmaker and yeah while you know uh, getting there would be the thing um, it, it, it's not so much different. Um, like, for instance, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, all these are somewhat the same. Well, they are the same price, so yeah. Uh, um, 
So, tucked away in a corner in the distance, bring is... I forget the treasure's name exactly? But it requires yellow Pikmin as well as blue Pikmin, and the solution the game intends you to do is um, take blues, transfer them to yellows, trans oh, yeah, trans them, uh, transform them to yellows to um get the ship part back oh, to get it down, and but then um take or transform those yellows back to blues so you could then take the treasure back or the ship out back to base um just realize i don't entirely know what i'm doing with the with the dolly uh but that's the, the, neither here nor there um but the platform that holds the yellow flowers is not so um uh, it's not so distant a thing where or like try, trying to come up with a specific word for it um it's a totally the it's total, total, yeah, totally in with your reason to think that that specific platform could also be used as a bit of a shortcut. Meaning that you could kind of um, take the step of transferring Pikmin or transing your Pikmin out of the equation. And while not the absolute best solution, or best way to, to do that, um, that is what I end up doing. Um, that being taking both reds, uh, blues, and yellows with me, um, throwing my blue yellows up to that ledge where you would normally tra or trans your blues into yellows. Um, the, this is, ah, okay. Kind of to get thing there, uh, yeah, uh. Throw the yellows up to the platform, you'll normally trans your blues to yellows, uh. And then get Olimar up there himself, so you could then throw your yellows up to where you needed the yellows to be, originally. Um, then you would use your yellows to get... Um, yeah. Use your yellows to get the treasure of the ship part back, or down. Pass them off to your blues. Um, and then, um, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, and then as the blues took it back to your ship, um, then, um, work on safely transporting your yellows back to where you need to be, because, um, doing it the way that they originally intended takes a bit um so doing it that way kind of speeds up the process a little bit um not the absolute fastest method mind but it is or it does or cut down sometime um the fastest method used by speed runners involves um Glitching Olimar out of bounds and getting him up to a ledge he normally wouldn't be able to access. Or get to. Um, before that though, you would throw your blues up there before you. Um, so then you could take a, like, a much bigger shortcut to get to the shit part because 
The reason you need yellows in the first place is because the ship art is up on a ledge just slightly too high for ev or any other pigment type to reach. So yeah, uh, <laughs> doing it that way kind of cuts out the needs for yellows entirely. Uh, but yeah. Uh... Not entirely sure on if I want to continue recording or not, considering we are now officially in the endgame. <laughs>